Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a review on Monster High Generation 3 Frankenstein. Right next to them we have um, the original Frankenstein from 2010 and the um, first reboot Monster I did in 2016. Um, her dress was a little like sun faded. I didn't realize that when I had bought her, but yeah, she's cute. I actually really do like this doll, despite like everyone hating the Generation 2 doll. And then later, um, we're going to do like a comparison between the new Frankie with um, School's Out because I feel like um, the new Frankie was probably, I feel like this doll was on the move board for that Frankie because they're very like similar, like um, like this is um, like blue, pink, and white plaid and you know, you get it. Um, okay, so here's Frankie's box um, and there's Frankie. <laughs> Um, Frankie is non-binary in this reboot, which I think is really cool because we never had a um, transgender Monster High character before. And this says Monster High right here. Um, and Frankie's signed with um, Dracula and Laguna and Watsi. Um, and all the, um, their accessories. And this is Watsi's name. Ooh, you can see my shirt. Anyway. Um, <laughs> and then this is Monster High on this side. And on the back, um, this is Monster High again. Look at the banner. I guess this is like the school. And it's Frankie Stein, and the, we have the lockers and the staircase, and then it's Laguna, Cleo, Dracula, and Claudine. I went to Walmart, and I saw Laguna, um, and Dracula, and I don't remember Claudine was there. No, it was Laguna, Dracula, and Frankie. And then when I went to Target, I found Frankie, Cleo, Claudine, and Laguna, but no Dracula. And there was no Ghoulia at Target either, and at Walmart, there was no Torlai. This is, um, oh, here's Frankie Stein's heart, sorry. <laughs> I'm not a biggest fan of this artwork, but I wasn't, well, we'll get to that later. Um, <laughs> down here it says Frankie Stein. Um, their monster type is a voltageous Franken monster. Their monster must have are an icon, coffin and screech, is a, that's just supposed to be pizza. And their monster pet is Watsi. And it's in different languages. Yeah, and this is monster.com and the Mattel logo. Here's um, Frankie's barcode, if you guys are still looking for her. I'm pretty sure everyone, like, is finding these dolls right now, at least in America. But if you need it, um, it's there. And if you want to read the bottom, you can. I don't know why you would want to, but if you want to, you can. All right, I'm going to get Frankie out the box, and I'll be back when they're out. Okay, I'm back, and Frankie's out of the box. Here's Frankie and everything they come with. They come with a lot of stuff, but I don't know. I would have rather preferred, like, anything else. I feel like a lot of this is just like wasteful but we'll get there anyway we'll get into it when we get into it so this is frankie's face they have um black and yellow eyeshadow with purple like on the outer corners um and uh they still have um heterochromia they have a middle part with two ponytails there's another ponytail down there but the hair clips kind of like bring it down and there's um a blue lightning bolt hair clip and a pink one and they have yellow lightning bolt earrings and then their top is like this zigzag, like white, like, would you call that like a polo tee? I forgot what the word was, but like a, a flannel kind of, I guess you could call it, but not really. I forgot the word, y'all. <laughs> and over that, like, um, they're wearing a sweater, which is very cute. It's kind of thin and like not very much like a sweater material, but it's cute. And they have this um, pleated skirt. It's very nice. Again, kind of a thin fabric. Um, and they have like a Frankie like chain with like a watch, a locket and a stitch. And I'm pointing out quality things cause I'm gonna make like an analysis in a few moments because I've just seen a lot of people say a lot of things that aren't true about these generation three dollars. And I just wanna like, air out out so like don't mind me like i'm not trying to be like me like i'm doing this for a purpose um and they still have their stitches everywhere they no longer have um neck bolts sadly but they have it on their prosthetic leg which i think is actually really cool it says frankie as the original skelet on there the heart with the stitches and they're like frankie like stuff like generation one like frankie stuff um and i don't know if they're using the skelets on these new dolls still or not, I'm not sure. Um, if not, that's a cute little callback. Um, and then they have these high top sneakers that are like a purple pink color with a green lightning bolt and black laces and platforms with lightning bolts and like a blue rim. Um, this is their jacket, uh, Al 
show you what it looks like when I put it on them. Um, they have a little um, cardboard hanger, a phone, a Polaroid. This one has Dracula, Frankie, and Claudine. It's Hiscaris, and this one has Claudine and Cleo, and they're in New York. The pizza or screechza. These glasses, which are the same as her gloom, their gloom beach glasses. And, um, Watsi. Watsi is gray with, like, a green hair tuft and, like, a black paint on his ear. He has pink eyes and, like, a yellow, like, eyeshadow, like, patch thing. And he has, like, a little on stitch on his head, which I think is really cute. Little on little eyebrows. And a black nose, a pink bandana. Um, he's black on this side and he has lightning bolt wings. Let me turn him around. He has, like, an alligator, like, tail. It's really cool. And, um... Here's Frankie's bag. It's like a big lightning bolt with paint and the monster eyes clip fuck the bow. And have a little like um like a keychain. There's lightning bolt, a light bulb, and I don't know what that is. Oh, like on their name, like on like a little lanyard type thing. And it's stitched with an F. And over here is their um Polaroid. There's an I and it's like a trapezoid. No, wrong bit. I don't know, bitch. I'm not good at math. And there's the camera and like the switches and stuff. And the Polaroids actually fit in here. So yeah, the the Polaroids fit in there perfectly, and they're easy to um, take out too. If you just <laughs> and they're just they're out. So yeah. And here's Frankie wearing everything. I think the jacket um really ties in this look, and the glasses are really cute, and I really love the phone, and the pizza's cute too. I just I don't know. I feel like this is like a lot of money that could have went towards like a stand or like. Um, a complete second outfit because these like plastic accessories are cute but like come on now like who's really gonna like make this doll wear this like chunky bag you know what i'm saying like i don't know and that's kind of like um not a problem monster i had before but i feel like monster had like a lot of like chunky plastic accessories before that were just kind of like do we really need that so that's not like a new issue but with these dolls there's just like a lot more of it you know what i'm saying um yeah i really like this jacket it's really nice um it's not the best quality, but like this doll in general isn't like OMG or in high quality. I don't think anyone's really expecting that. Um, but um, from Mattel standards, like it's pretty decent, um, a pretty decent doll. And yeah, they're very cute. Okay, so here are the three generations of Frankie Stein. As you can see, Frankie's style has like kind of stayed the same. Like they're still very preppy and very like um, um, what's that word? Like like edgy in a way. Um, you know, Frankie was, like, always had that, like, um, schoolgirls, like, alternative style, um, since her first wave doll. And this new one is very, um, it, it's very preppy. It's not as edgy as, um, it used to be, but it's still very cute. And here's the reboot. Um, I actually do, do really like, um, this reboot outfit. I think it's very cute. It's something Frankie would probably wear, wear if you just, like, change a few things. Um, and yeah. It's really cute. As for like, as far as the quality goes, it's definitely like on par with this like dress. Um, there's just there's just more layering going on. Um, with this outfit, which um, you know, like um, allows for more imaginative play, which is really nice. I feel like old monster eyes sometimes kind of lacked um layered clothes, especially like in the later years. So I'm, it's really nice that Mattel's kind of like going back to monster eyes roots. Like, okay, let's like put a million like pounds of clothes in these bitches. Oh. Um, like they used to. <laughs> um, because I feel like that, that's kind of been lost for a little bit. So I'm glad to see it return. Okay, now. This is where I was like, mm. no, I'm not going to get messy here. But I'm just, I want to like clarify some things I've heard people say. A lot of people like were saying that like G3 Monster High was like, had like really like amazing quality. Like nothing we've ever seen Monster High do before. And that's just not true. Like I understand everyone's like very excited for this reboot and they're you know like when you're excited like you say and do things that you know you know didn't normally do i guess but like come on now like monster has definitely like done like this before like this is their example right here and on top of that this sweater is like made of an actual like sweater material and this one isn't in um her skirt or their skirt and her flannel are like made of very similar fabrics if not this one feels like a little bit thicker um to me so i'm like Yes, this doll is good quality, but it's definitely something we've seen Monster I do before. This isn't anything new. Um, this has definitely been something we've seen before. 
And I just want to, like, reiterate that. Like, I know y'all are excited. Like, he king, ha ha, and, like, but come on. Let's not discredit G1. Like, G1 has definitely did this before, if not better. No, I don't know. I mean, that comes down to personal taste, personal preference, which one you think is better. But, you know, they've definitely done this before. Like, let's calm it down. But nonetheless, this doll is still very, very, very cute. Um, I'm glad I got them. Um, and yeah, I guess I'm going to go like ramble a little bit about G3 for a little bit. Um, so my initial thoughts on G3 were actually pretty negative. Um, well, like my first first thoughts were like, were, like um, when those that cop mean like prototypes came out, I was very excited. But then I quickly like stopped liking these dolls. I'm not sh I think it's just because they don't necessarily appeal to me and that's okay like <laughs> these dolls are like not made for me um it's just like the bright colors i think and i don't necessarily like how their ears like protrude from their heads and i don't like their head shapes that much either this time around but you know like i'm warming up to them now like i saw them at target today i'm like okay i need to get this doll because i love monster monster is my favorite doll line of all time you know so um, I had to get Frankie. Like I at least had to get Frankie because first with Frankie was my first ever Monster High doll. And um, I'm definitely a little bit more impressed with this doll, but um, they haven't really changed my feelings about G3 that dramatically. Um, this might be like the only one I get. I don't know, I'm sorry. I'm, I mean, they're very pretty, objectively. This is objectively a really good doll. It's just not for me, I don't think. And that could change um in the future but i think for now like i'm gonna stick you know buying the old monster High dolls um and that's okay you know like i do not i definitely do not have all the old monster High dolls so there's still a lot of dolls for me to buy and they're gonna continue making g1 dolls so for y'all that are very like happy with this reboot um y'all are happy and i'm happy for y'all that y'all are getting fed with these like dolls that you cherish and love but um for me we're good over here we're good over here you know, I like this doll. She's, they'll stay in my collection. Um, better like, mm, probably not going to get any more. Um, but yeah, that's, that's all really. That's all I have to say. Um, good doll. Very good. Um, yeah, that's all for my review of Generation 3 Frankie Stein and Fallen. This video was kind of all over the place. I kind of just wanted it to be like a, kind of a first impressions video. So it's not like the most best thing ever. Ever. And I haven't done a YouTube video in a while, so this is kind of messy. <laughs> but yeah, um, this is a very opinionated video. Like, feel free to leave your opinions in the comments too. I would love to see how you guys feel about this reboot as well. Um, I didn't go super duper duper in depth with like the bodies and stuff, just because other people have done that already. And I kind of just wanted this video to be like my first impressions of this doll. And like, I took a while, um, like feeling them and really analyzing this doll and like kind of comparing them in my own time um so yeah i feel like if you guys are very like not sure about these dolls i recommend getting at least one um to see how you feel um it's definitely like um helped me like you know like gather my feelings about these dolls a little bit more um they definitely aren't my cup of tea but i can see how these dolls can be appealing you know and yeah that's basically what i said before but yeah um, okay, so, ooh, don't look at my brats. I need to put them in bags. Anyway, don't look at that. <laughs> I ended up returning Frankie because I really did not like that doll, like, at all. It didn't, that doll did not make me happy, didn't spark any joy in my life. It honestly kind of just made me sad that this is what Monster Eye is now. And that's not, like, saying that it. it like, it's a bad doll. It's just really not for me, you know? It's not for me. Like, G2, like, I could enjoy these dolls because they're still very, don't look at like Cleo, um, similar to G1 enough where I can enjoy them, you know? G3 is just too different. And that's okay. Like, people shouldn't, I feel like people are shaming people for not liking G3 just because it's different. Like, people can have their own opinions, babe. Like, that is a very valid reason not to like something because it's different, you know? That is very valid. 
<laughs> so yeah especially when you're talking about inanimate objects obviously it'll be weird if you're talking about different types of people that haven't done anything wrong that's completely different but we talk about a piece of plastic babe don't mind the music in the back um y'all need to stop stop bash people for not liking g3 because i'm not bashing y'all bitches for liking g3 <laughs> anyway but yeah um so i decided to return the bell and use my own money with as well to buy these two dolls or about hi um bitch was her name tiara and sabrina st cloud very pretty dolls i got them on um sale to 25 percent off thing target has right now mad does something illegal with this doll anyway not the point not the point um so i think i'm just gonna stick with buying rainbow highs and omgs as for newer playland dolls and newer g1 dolls that they put out um, yeah, G3 is not for me, and that's okay. I'm happy y'all are happy. I hope Mattel, I hope G3 has like the Rainbow High glow up where Mattel starts being a little bit more like risk, take more risk like old Monster I used to do and just be more bold. I feel like it's just lacking some boldness. And I think we can all agree to that. Like this new Monster High feels a little bit watered down um, for consumer like intake. And I just think that's not the way to go about it. Because as history shows, the doll lines that take the most risks are the ones that show the most payoff and have the most success. So I feel like Mattel needs to stop playing it safe. I know Mattel is a public company, so they have all these people like yapping in their ear about what they want because people need to get paid at the end of the day. But I feel like Mattel needs to take a little bit more initiative. And, you know, to make most, you know, because if they want to like survive in this market, they got to do a lot more than what they're doing now. And I know they're just starting out. But yeah, that's just my two cents. Hope, I hope they do well. And that's all. All right. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.